Ba ba da ba 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 ba. Take a moment and click the like button. Click the share button. Spread the word because you and your friends and your family can join us right now and participate in today's show. Ha <laughs> ha! My name's Wimmy, and we're going to play with words. We're going to make a song. We're going to look at art. Ha <laughs> ha! Hello to our friends in Detroit and all over the state and all over the world. If you want to post that you're here, let us know. If you have a question at some point in the show, let us know. We're going to ask for help at parts in the show. So we're glad you're here. So let's get going with the first song. We like to start with a song to get things moving. Now, to help us, will you please share with us a food? Yeah. Hi, Laura and family. I'm glad you're here. What's your favorite food? Do you have a favorite food you might want to share with us? Here we go. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Ho, ho. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Gracie. Hi, Harlow. Ha, ha. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for being here. Do you have something you like to eat? Any food at all? Or pick a favorite mac and cheese? Okay, we're at four frogs left. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious mac and cheese. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Ha, <laughs> ha, there's three. What are they going to eat? Mac and cheese. Bugs. What would you prefer to eat, bugs or mac and cheese? Hmm. Maybe bugs in the mac and cheese? Would that be a good combination? Ooh, chicken and rice. Okay, we've got three. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious chicken and rice. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Oh, there's two. They're having a nice time out in a like a pond restaurant. Are there restaurants in ponds? Ooh, tacos. Okay. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious tacos. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. Oh, waffles! The last frog gets to enjoy waffles. Ooh, what could go on the waffles? Syrup? Um, yeah, that works out well because the frogs are out in the trees. I bet they're going to make fresh maple syrup. Good afternoon to you! Okay. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious waffles. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Ha, ha, ha. That sounds delicious. Man, that would be a nice buffet. Waffles and mac and cheese and chickens and rice. And bugs. I think I missed one other thing. What was the other one? There's was, was a whole good buffet. I bet there's even more. Well, friends, we get to explore some art. Hey, from Chicago! Chic! I love to say the word. Chicago! Hi. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so um, we get to look closer at art. We've been singing about green and speckled frogs sitting on a log. Take a look at the art. Well, I, you know what? Before I, before I go too far where Stephanie's going to join us. And what we call right now, this is called Exploring Art. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Wimmy. Hi, friends. Uh -huh. Are you going to tell our friends what we're going to look at today? I was hoping you could. I know it's got something to do with logs, right? Yes, it does. I'll show you the whole picture right now. All right. Friends at home, Stephanie's running the show and showing us the artwork. There it is. Yes. So this piece is called, I'm um, sorry, I'm running the show as well, like Mr. Kevin, <laughs> like, I mean, like um, Wimmy said. Um, hey, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, Kevin left. He's gone. He did. Well, um, we're going to take a look at this painting right here. And so um, I want you to just to take a moment and look at it. And now we're going to look closely. And what do you see in this picture? Let's see. Let's look close. Now, they're, they, those, they look like logs. 
pile of logs. What do you say that makes you say these are logs? Well, I know logs come from trees and these are the shapes of trees. And when trees get chopped down and cut into that, you know, length, they're a pile of logs. Yes, I think that you're right. Um, that circular shape, you can see that and the, the long length of them. What else do we, what else can we find? Ooh, right that's, part of, that's part of a steamboat, right? The, um, the, like the spiral. Oh yeah, there was a shoe. I saw that in the, in, we did see a shoe. Good eye. I um, noticed that as well. Is that thing like on the on the right side now? That's like part of an old steamboat, isn't it? Like the, the thing that goes spins? So I think you're noticing in the right-hand corner and the shape of that, the roundness, yeah. and then that looks like maybe spokes. Yeah. And that reminds you of a wheel, yes. Let's yeah, there see. it is. Nice close-up right there. Oh, yeah, barrels, oh. shoe bottles. Yeah, the bottle there. Oh, bottle. Right? Looks like that bottle just got, that's sad. That bottle just got tossed in the river, I think. Right. And that, that I'm guessing that the barrel that um, our friend is talking about is that brown thing in the middle, right? I'm, it could, yeah, because a barrel often has like metal straps that go around it to hold it together, right? The wood. Pieces. Yes, exactly. Oh, trees in the background. I see them. The pine trees, I think. Yep, and uh, when we go back to that part, we can notice some details about those that makes us think those are trees. What more can we find, friends white, and women? I, I noticed the colors kind of white and brown and black are the main colors I see. Hmm. Does that remind you of anything? What brown from like the tree bark and the barrels made out of wood. Uh, I wonder if they carved the bark off and the inside of the tree is lighter than the outside. I wonder. I was also curious about birch trees. I know birch oh, trees have white oh, bark. Maybe they are so birch trees. I wonder about that. Water. Big waves. Yeah, yeah. We both saw that. Big waves are splashing up on the logs. What do you say that makes you say those are waves? Oh, because the water is blue, but then it's like waves when they crash into something, it, it turns white, like the white water raft kind of idea. So you have seen waves before and have seen that, that how they how that changes to that white or that foam. And yeah. so we are thinking that those are waves back there. And yep, our friends noticed also that those might be birch trees. And you mentioned wait. that those could be fir trees back there. Pine trees. Wait, 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 wait. There's letters, oh. M, H. And there's more letters next to it. What are those other letters? The bottom mm -hmm. right. Oh, oh, the artist, I think it's the artist's initials and more. I believe you're correct. And when we have Miss Renee on very soon to tell us more about this piece and the artist, she's from the DIA and will be able to help us with that. Oh, I see the shoe again in the bottles on the left. Yes. So we know what shape shoes are. And that reminds us of a shoe. It looks like a boot. Oh, I noticed oh, some clouds oh. in the sky maybe. Yeah, you know, speaking of clouds and right now it feels like we're up in the sky and we're like floating down on top of the logs. Yes. What else can we find? Anything else we notice, friends who are watching at home? Well, we're getting really zoomed in. We really are. Oh, I can see the texture of the paint. Oh, my goodness. You're right. I see that round shape. The end the of the moss. I found a letter L. I don't know if that was on purpose as an L, though. I see oh. black lines. You wouldn't know those are logs anymore. We're so zoomed in. I know. Oh, yeah, lines do create the shapes. Wow. Ooh. It's like so abstract right now when we look really, really closely. It is. I'm just enjoying watching it. Logs. Sir Richard sees logs. I love it. And like you said, you can see those brush strokes. I've seen how paint looks after you brush it on with a brush. And so it, there's that texture of the color white right now that we're looking at. Whoa, it's moving so fast. Look at the paint. It's like it's, it's like the paint is flying by us now. Choom, choom, choom. Whoa. Oh, I see a face, but I don't think that was on purpose either. Wait, were those letters? Ooh, yeah, the colors in the birch trees, they are gorgeous. Oh, yeah. man, it keeps moving so fast in the paint. thats I want to go swimming in that paint right now. <laughs> and, oh, it's zooming out. Zooming. Zooming. Wow. <gasps> wow. 
that There's the was whole thing. so fun. Man, I kind of want to go swimming in the river now. I know. I'd like to, too, or climb on the logs. It'd be what, what, why are all those logs there? Is that Are they going to build something with all those logs? That is a great question, and I know someone who could help us out with that. <laughs> Let's bring so, in Renee. All right. I'm going to see you later, and I will bring okay. it away. Okay. Thanks, Miss Ebony. <laughs> Renee is from the Detroit Institute of Arts. Hi, Renee. Hi, Wimmy. How are you today? Oh, doing well, well. And so you work at the DIA. First, before we learn from you about the artwork, tell us more about, about what you do at the DIA. I do work at the DIA. I am a teacher at the DIA. Love it. And so you know about this painting, right? Well, I know something about this painting. It, it is a painting we do have at the DIA, and you can see it. It hangs on the wall. We're open, so you can come visit it. When you see the painting, it's up a little high, but it gives it a great viewpoint when you look at it. Ooh. And the artist's name is Mardson Hartley, and he was actually born in the late 1800s. So he then went and traveled all through Europe. He traveled to Germany. He traveled to Paris. And he looked at all the great artists in the beginning part of the 1900s. So art before 1950 is called modern art. So this is a modern art piece. And in 1930s, he decided to go back to his home in Maine. And he decided he wanted to be the painter of Maine, he called himself. And as he did so, he painted nature of Maine. And this is called Log Jam on Penobscot Bay. So you were, you were very good, you and all your viewers. You noticed that the logs, and then we said jam. So you noticed that they were all grouped together and crashing together. You could feel how the artist had created tension between the logs and then push the waves up. You notice that right away. So that was his purpose and his intent by using those strong strokes and that bright, rich, deep colors. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. I love the blue right in the back with the, it, now it's a bay, right? Not a river. The Penobscot. It is did called I, the say, bay. Mm -hmm. Say the name of the bay again. Penobscot. Penobscot Bay. And he was looking at this in real life, do you think? Oh, yeah. He lived there. And he wanted yeah. you to be able to know what Maine looked like by the local people. So if you were the local person, you would see this because they were, of course, logging. We've talked about logging. Many states log their natural resources, which would have been the trees that you also noticed in the background. And the way to transport them was to transport them down the river. And at times it became backed up and you see it also collected other things that could have been in the river. Because I, if I heard correctly, some people noticed shoes and some people noticed a barrel and bottles. So other things collected in this log jam as it's pushing its way out into the bay. Wow. Man, I just feels like I'm there. And yet this was painted like over a hundred years ago, right? Well, oh, this was painted, oh. yeah, it was painted about 80 years ago, 80. about okay. 1940, about okay. 1940, he okay. painted this piece. He lived in, it was at the end of his life, he painted this. He died in 1943. Man, art is amazing. It's so cool. And you used another word, Weemi, I liked you used the word abstract. So when you zoomed in on it, that word, you had to look at it and you thought to yourself, I'm not quite sure I recognize what that is. So, and that's an abstract. And then when you pull out, you might be able to relate a little more to the art. That makes sense. And it's so cool how there's so many different types of art, right? Yes. Many wow. different types. This was an oil painting and it was painted on a board, not on a canvas, on a board. Wow. And so how big is it roughly? You said it's at the oh, DIA. Let's see. I would say if you looked at a bathroom mirror, it would be a little bigger than a bathroom mirror on a double okay. vanity. Okay. Wow. And now did the artist paint lots of paintings over his life? Oh, yes. Well, the artist was, yes, he painted a lot of paintings, but not all of them were landscapes. Some of them were um, portraits. Of people then, right? of people, of people that he did 
when he painted, he painted things he loved. I love that. I want to go paint some logs and rivers and trees. And do you have any advice as a teacher uh, for uh, for kiddos that are learning more about painting to get started? Oh, I think it's the most important that they just do it. I think that it's most important that anyone is an artist. We're all artists and every single one of us have an artist inside us and we're just ready to share. And anytime you do your drawings or if you even create something that maybe isn't even a drawing, you might create it out of Play-Doh or you might create it out of scraps of paper. That is all art. I love it. I love it. Friends, the website is DIA.org. And what can people um, expect these days right now um, for what's happening at the DIA? Okay, well, we're lifting some of the uh, COVID mandates right now. So we are able, you are able to go in and not wear masks like you used to have to do. We're letting a little more people in now than we had before. It was limited numbers, but more people are allowed to go in, but we are open. There is going to be a food service starting in July. So if you go down, you'll be able to at least get a drink of water, more water, pop or something for the children. And uh, it's nice and cool. It's air conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> I love the DIA. Well, Renee, thank you so much for teaching us about that piece of art. And um, we're going to do some thank fun you, things Renee. on the show and then have a dance party. So we'll see. Will you join us for the dance party? I would love to. <laughs> We'll see you soon. Oh, All such right. a cool piece of art and learning more about it. Friends, what we want to do right now is write a story together. <laughs> now, I need you to help us out, though, with the words, because we write a story in what we call three sentence story. <laughs> Beginning, middle, end. And the three words, they come from you. So if you could think of a word, any word at all, maybe it's inspired by the artwork that you saw. Maybe it's inspired by something you learned. What could it be, friends? Because uh, in the first sentence, I'll set the scene. In the second sentence, there will be a problem. Oh, no. But in the third sentence, what do we do? We solve the problem. Ha, ha, ha. Then after we make a story, we're going to go to Michael in the women's lab. He's going to create a women. She's going to illustrate and bring it to life, the story that we create right now. So I wonder, will this story be action? Will it be silly? It could be science fiction based. It could be inspired by something back in the 1940s when this painting was painted. Oh, trees. Excellent. Okay, the first word to inspire the first sentence will be trees. Okay, here we go. I was sitting along the riverbed looking at the trees swaying in the breeze. Oh, this sounds delightful. Uh-oh, but then there's a problem. No, oh no. What's gonna happen, friends? We're sitting on the riverbed enjoying the breeze when there's a problem. The word that will inspire this problem is going to come from you. But then don't worry, friends, because we will have a solution. And in the solution, we'll be like, yahoo! It's like when you read a book and it starts off and then there's the, oh no, the excitement, the action. Oh, I love poems too, by the way. There's just like artwork. You can write long, exciting stories. You could write poems, different ways to use your imagination to create, to explore. Haha. <laughs> so the second word for today to cause our problem. In fact, I have an idea. I'm, oh, wrestling. <laughs> The problem is wrestling. Okay, here we go. So, I was sitting on the riverbed watching the trees sway in the breeze. I looked up high and I saw two squirrels wrestling and one of them began to fall. Oh no! No, 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 no! We gotta help this squirrel! One of the squirrels is falling down. How do we help the squirrel and solve the problem? Hmm, maybe the other squirrel will jump down and get him. Maybe something in the river will jump up. Oh, a cloud! Ha 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 ha! Indeed. Okay, the cloud is the solution. Okay, here we go. I was sitting on the riverbed, enjoying the trees as they swayed in the breeze. I looked up high and I saw two squirrels were wrestling and one started to fall. Whoa! Quickly, I started to blow into the air and a cloud formed and caught that squirrel. <laughs> I made a cloud. <laughs> I might have to do more research. 
on uh, technically how clouds are made, but it's a story. And I was able to create a cloud by going <laughs> and the squirrel was like, thank you very much, that was a rough fall. <laughs> okay, friends, it's time to go to Michael in the Grand Rapids Women's Lab to see what he's got going for today's Wimage. <laughs> hey, Michael, the cloud caught the squirrel. Hey, Wimmy, hey, friends. What's, uh, what a great gift. <laughs> I know. Have it's you ever cloud. made a cloud? Have you done that before? No, but on one of our previous episodes, our good friends Brody showed us how clouds were formed. But I was I thinking that too. But I personally have never made a cloud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although I'd love to feel a cloud. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that was what, yeah, Brody and Brock, they post, they did an experiment with how to do that. Don't clouds do look comfy? Right? They do. <sighs> was that right. a slow was that a slow it down moment? <laughs> oh, I think we've made some of those. Yeah. On the class. yeah. Awesome. So let me yeah. show you friends what we've got with the women's app. Okay. Um, and so yes. So this is what we've got. Whoa. See the cloud. You see Wemmy is on the logs. Yeah. We got the waves. And so I took some of um, some inspiration from that beautiful painting that Miss Renee. Was showing us, and I included yeah. that in our women app. I see it. Yeah. So <laughs> you'll see the log, you'll see the trees, you'll see the waves, and if you look up, you can see two um, squirrels wrestling, and one of them got caught by the comfy cloud. Oh, good thing, because he's upside down. He would have been like, whoa. Whew. Yeah. So we can add a couple more images to further <laughs> um, tell the story. Yeah, friends, who's got an idea for something we could add? I was thinking maybe some birds. Oh, hi, good morning to you. Good morning, <laughs> Timmy Sue. <laughs> what do you think? Um, some birds? In the we can cloud? do that. Wimmy, maybe. how do I spell birds? Ooh, okay, ready? B I R D S. Birds. Perfect. So I type birds, and instantly we were able to get a couple images of birds. And I. Brought some into the image. I see them. They're watching the squirrels. They're like, oh no, be <laughs> careful, squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Joe's got an idea to add a cow. We can. Yeah, th this this uh, this river, this stream, it's near a farm. And okay. uh, oh, we add more water? Okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, tell you what, Michael, as you add more words and more to the picture, we'll check back with you in a little bit and uh, and see what you've got added to Perfect. the image. All right, we'll see you soon. Ha <laughs> ha, friends! Thanks for helping with the image, with the story, with our opening song. Um, and today it was all inspired by Log Jam. Ha <laughs> ha, that's fun to say, Log Jam. Now, in Michigan, um, we've also got a, a, a rich history of the logging industry. In fact, lots of trees from Michigan were used uh, for construction in Chicago. So check out this fun song and uh, this poem called The Era of Logging. were clear, it was needed to prepare the land for farming. It was a bonus that people paid for the lumber that was cut. It was wanted by people from other states. Chicago was growing.
Oh my, that's a fun song. That's from our friends Kevin and Stephanie Cameron and Ryan Hip and the songs and the music. Stephanie was the run, the one uh, running the the visual, the, the story, they're looking at the art today. <laughs> so fun, so fun. Friends, guess what? We love to play a game we call Find It Fast. Here's what we want to do today. We invite you to find these things fast. Right now, it's a scavenger hunt. Can you find something that starts with L, like log? Can you find something shaped like a log? Can you find something made from wood? Are you ready? Go see if you can find those things. Post in the comments if you do. Tell us what it is. Maybe you find a Lego that starts with L. Maybe you find a light bulb that starts with L. Something shaped like a log. <laughs> Think about that one. Hmm. Something made from wood. Oh, tables, chairs. Um. What, frames? Yeah, oh, what you got, Stephanie? Paper. Paper's made from wood. That's all yeah. I found so far. Okay, let's see. Friends, what else can you find? Post in the comments. Friends backstage, Michael's got something. What'd you find? So this candle is shaped like a log. It is. Nice, it's a cylinder, right? I, oh, I just realized that logs are yeah. like cylinders. Yes. Nice. Anything? Oh, <laughs> we'll come back to Michael. Um, uh, uh, Joe's lap tray. I bet that's made from wood. And L. L starts with L. Um, L. Uh, Renee, what did you find? That's made from wood. I have a casino. Whoa. Tell us more this about is that. It's a casino from the Hopi. Yeah, casino is made from cottonwood, and it's made by the Hopi um, tribe in Arizona, and it's given as a gift to the young girls in the families to give them strength and power. It's beautiful. That is so cool. Thanks for sharing that. Friends, tell us what you find. Ooh, ooh. Uh, Linda, Grandma. <laughs> That's my grandma. Grandma found a pencil. That's shaped like a log. It's a cylinder. Nice, nice. Uh -huh. Friends, keep sharing what you find. Hmm, Michael found something shaped like a log candle, something made from wood. Ooh, ooh, pencils are both shaped like a log and made from wood. Ooh, could it, can we find something that has all three? Starts with L, shaped like a log, made from wood. Hmm, I don't know if I can get, if a pencil was called a lintzel, <laughs> then it would work, but that starts with P, pencil. <laughs> well, friends, thanks for playing Find It Fast, a chair. Yeah, chairs are often made from wood. I love it. So many things to think about, to find, to create, to do. Wow. Well, hey, friends, guess what? Wimmy's Words, our show, as well as some cool programming from the Detroit Institute of Arts, are part of the lineup at the Michigan Learning Channel. Have you seen their website? And they broadcast throughout the PBS affiliates around the state of Michigan. Check out this uh, information here to learn a little bit more about the Michigan Learning Channel. The Michigan Learning Channel, a free resource for parents, teachers, and students, helping support education when you are at home or in school. By providing teacher-led lessons on air, online, and on demand for students in kindergarten through third grade. You can find all the lessons on demand with additional materials and learning goals for each episode. Learn more at michiganlearning.org. I love Michigan. Yeah, here's the website, michiganlearning.org. You can find our show. And I know the DA's got some cool projects. I was seeing a, a cylinder snake that you could make step by step that they lead us through. So fun. All right, well, friends, we've had an action-packed show. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, we're going to have our dance party. And uh, next month, by the way, tune in with us before we do our dance party. Join us next month. It's the fourth Saturday of every month. So July 24 will be the next one right here with the DIA. And oh man, throughout the year, the fourth Saturdays of the month, exploring cool art, singing songs, creating, having a good time. Well, hey, let's get ready for our dance party. Uh, let's bring in Michael first. And uh, Michael, you ready to dance? I'm always ready to dance. Thank you so much, friends watching in Detroit and everywhere else. And I'm excited that Wimmy's Words is on the Michigan Learning Channel um, in addition to our PBS partners. So thank you, Wimmy. Of course, of course. Let's bring in Renee. Renee, thanks so much for teaching us all about the art and inspiring us to create. And Stephanie, same thing, teaching us about the close-up we saw. And, uh, oh, man, I always get sad when the show ends. You can rewatch it. Aha! And we look forward to next time. Ha <laughs> ha! That's true. Let's dance, friends. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah! Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, 
getting fancy, everybody. Dance with us at home. Oh no, I got so excited, I left over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Wimmy's Words is brought to you by Kent District Library and Wimmage, with additional support by these great partners. Weekdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.